if we wanted to create a building plan down here, it would look like this. We would give it the type building plan, give it a name, and then inside of these curly braces, we could just assign a value for each one of the things. Caleb Curry for the owner. And then for the rectangle, we're actually going to use another set of curly braces. And we could say this is at uh, a 10 by five house, or let's go five by 10, just to be consistent with this here. And this is at position 3248, which I know means absolutely nothing here, but <laughs> just, just follow along. Pretend these are some kind of coordinates of some sort. <laughs> And we can actually print out this entire house and we only have to use this my house variable rather than keeping variables for all of this information. So I'm going to write out a printf statement. It's gonna be a little bit more complex than usual, so I'm just gonna to skip to when it's done. <laughs> all right, so here's the format string. The house at position position, size of size size, is owned by name. Then we just have to make a list of all the arguments also passed in for these formats. All right, so this is the entire printf statement. You can see we can traverse through these structs using the, the dot operator. So we can say dot position, and then inside of that, dot x. All right, so let's compile and see what happens when we print this. All right, I have an issue. All right, I have a spelling mistake in position. So I'm gonna scroll up and fix that. I also forgot to put the type here because I'm a failure, apparently. <laughs> let's run the thing. The house at 3248 size 510 is owned by Caleb Curry. Awesome. So that shows how to use structs in your program. The next thing I wanted to show is that you can actually make an array of structs. So for example, if we wanted to make an array to store a bunch of positions, for example, it could be a path. We could say path and set that equal to numerous positions. So inside here, each one's going to be inside of curly braces. And we could say where you need to go for this path. So what, what each point is. We could then iterate through this entire array with a for loop. Typically, if I'm going to use a number here, I like to assign it to a variable. And then we can basically print these values like so. All right, let's see if that works. Obviously, you don't want to return beforehand. You want to do that after. I always forget to do that for some reason. All right, so there it'll print out the path. Awesome. Another thing I wanted to talk about is how to make a pointer to a struct. It's fairly simple. So if we have a struct, so scroll up, we have these, this my house, this is a struct. Well, we can make a pointer to that just like we would make any other pointer. We use the asterisk symbol and then give it a name just like so and then we can set that equal to the address of my house